Tomb Raider 1, 2, 3 Remastered contains all of its original features, but there's been some new ones added. Returning features include some glitches and the corner bug within the levels, but there's been some new features such as photo mode that have been added. We're going to go through these features today. We're going to start with this glitch that you can find in caves. If you run at this gate at a certain angle, you can glitch straight through it and skip the majority of the first level. It's a known skip. It was in the original 1996 version of Tomb Raider 1. You do have to hit it at the perfect angle. It has to be a running jump. You have to be grabbing in the air and you will glitch through the gate. So that bug is still in the game and so is the corner bug. So is the glitch that gets you on top of Lara's home in Tomb Raider 2 and Tomb Raider 3. There's plenty out there. I'm just giving you an example. Something new that has been added, however, is photo mode. So I'm playing Tomb Raider Remastered using an Xbox One controller, but on the PC. To get into photo mode using the controller, click in both the left and the right stick. That'll put you in photo mode. If you're on a PC, you can press F3. And what you can do here is you can fly around the level using the free cam, which you can see me doing here. I've gone a bit further on in level one from where I killed the bear. What I've done is come down these stairs and I can see that there are two dogs here. So if I didn't know this level, I could find where enemies were and basically prepare myself for where an enemy might be jumping out from around the corner. Photo mode is there really for taking photos within the game. But yeah, you can do those fly throughs as well. You can roll the screen, you can change the field of view, zoom in and out using the sticks. But what you can also do is change Lara's pose, her facial features, her outfit, and if you want her to be holding any weapons. Photo mode can be used in both the new graphics and the original graphics, but if you are doing them in the original graphics, Lara only has two faces, and that's the default face or an angry face while in the new graphics she has a few more. Obviously many different poses as well and you can change her outfit from the Tomb Raider 1 outfit, you could put her in the Tomb Raider 3 outfit, you could put her in a home gym gear from Tomb Raider 2 if you wanted to, but those outfit changes won't stay. Okay, something else I want to show you is a quick select for any weapons you might have. Now to do this, I need all weapons. So I am going to put on the all weapons and full ammo cheat. To do any cheats, you do need to be in tank controls. So for all weapons in Tomb Raider 1, what you have to do is step forward once, step backwards once, rotate counterclockwise three times, and then jump back in a backflip you will hear a reloading sound and then when you press the view button on an xbox one controller or the button that you've got mapped to open up your inventory you will see that the pistols are obviously there they're there anyway but you will have the shotgun with full ammo the magnums with full ammo and the uzis with full ammo and you are able to shoot them and use them as you would anyway now the ammo will drain but obviously you, you get pickups throughout the levels anyway that'll replenish the ammo. But if for whatever reason you do run out, you can always do this cheat again to get full ammo again. So what you're seeing here is I'm holding down view, which is my open inventory button, but it's not opening and I'm pressing the face buttons Y, X, B and A and that will quick switch between weapons. Each weapon is assigned one of the face buttons. Earlier you saw me step forward, step back, spin three times and jump backwards. Well, instead of jumping backwards in Tomb Raider 1, if you jump forwards, you will jump forwards in terms of the levels and basically level skip. So I've just gone there from level two to level three. 
try to do the cheat again in this corridor and it didn't work probably because I was in close quarters but if you come out into the open and try inputting any of the cheats again so either the the level skip or the full ammo cheat because you've got a bit more room to maneuver the cheat will activate and you will skip the level. Tomb Raider 2 then, the cheats are exactly the same as Tomb Raider 1, however you have to be holding a flare for them to activate. Jumping forward for level skip and jumping backwards for full ammo and weapon unlock. So you can see me here, I've spun around three times, I've jumped backwards and I've unlocked all of the guns with full ammo. But as Tomb Raider 2 has seven weapon slots, they will be assigned to seven buttons. So Y, X, B and A and the two bumpers. With the left bumper being used to take out a flare and the right bumper being assigned to a weapon slot. You can see here I've opened the inventory and all the weapons are there with full ammo. I also have 51 large and 51 small medipacks. Of course, you can pick more up throughout the levels. But what happens if you aren't holding a flare? Well, if you try to input a cheat in Tomb Raider 2, let's just say Lara is likely to explode. Tomb Raider 3 then, the cheats are a little bit different. Again, you have to have weapons drawn. You step backwards, step forwards, and because of the introduction of crouch, you have to crouch down and release it, and then turn around three times before doing any of your jumps. You can see here, I've spun around three times, I've jumped backwards, and go into the inventory. All the guns have now been unlocked with full ammo. Because there are eight slots for weapons, they will all go to a controller button, either Y, X, A, B, either bumper or either trigger. By holding down inventory and pressing at any of those buttons, you will switch between your guns. If you wanted many packs of flares, you will need to properly go into the inventory and select them. So again, just to show you here in Tomb Raider 3, also has the level skip. The cheat code is exactly the same as the all weapons and ammo except you're jumping forwards instead of backwards. And you can see here the level has skipped. Tomb Raider 3 goes from the first level into a cutscene and then into the next level. Within cutscenes in Tomb Raider Remastered you can switch between the old and the new graphics as well by pressing the menu button on an Xbox controller. Hopefully these features, you've not played around with them yet. And I hope by having a little bit of a play around, you find new ways to play the game, new ways to have fun and try new things, or maybe even get your level times down if you're speedrunning. <laughs>